Welcome. Welcome. And welcome, everybody, to something a little special. I say that pretty often nowadays, don't I? But yeah, we're checking out something. Checking out something that I think is pretty cool. We're checking out Narita Boy. There we go. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, this works. I don't know. Okay. So, uh, fun fact my Xbox. I think it's an Xbox Series X controller, actually. It doesn't work very well with this game for whatever reason. I actually have no idea why. But, I mean, that's the case. But yeah, we're checking out uh, Narita Boy. This is a game by Team 17, you know, which, is a, which publishes a lot of pretty cool games. This is the demo for this game. As you can see over there, Steam demo. So uh, yeah, I saw the trailer on Steam and I was like, this is interesting. Let me check it out. And so we're doing it now. We're putzing around with it a little bit, seeing what is what it's got to offer. So join me on this wonderful journey. It has a pretty cool style. I think you'll enjoy it. Old York, the early 80s. Ooh, I mean, it's got some, some ramen, writing code or something. Uh oh. Whoa. That doesn't bode well. Some sort of computer overlord or something. Mm hmm? <laughs> yeah, he and I were feeling the same thing. Oh boy. Oh, M has returned. Whoa. Hit the button. The same time on the outskirts of old York. Oh, there's a kid, he's gaming, and mom is just like, no, kid, you are just so bad. Got no skills. Turn off that little machine and go straight to bed, or tomorrow I'm giving it back to your father. Alright, I'm not gonna skip it. It's all you need to spend all day glued to a screen. Go to sleep now. Aw, bud. Just go to sleep. It's okay. It'll be there tomorrow. The faster you go to sleep, the faster you can play tomorrow. That's what I always say when my younger uh, nephews are like, you know, trying to are mad about going to bed. You know, it's true. But as a kid, you can never, you never think of that. Anyways, ooh, I feel like if that showed up on my chest when I walked up to it, I'd be like, ooh, hold up, mom, hello, police? No, not the police. But you know, I I I'd tell somebody I'd be like, uh, I, my computer's acting weird, or maybe I wouldn't. Depends on how old I was, you know, how special I wanted to feel. <laughs> Ooh, the hero's summit. We've touched the computer, and we are now the Narita boy. Interesting. Like the uh, the uh, I was gonna say it's not artifacting. I like the scan lines. And the the uh, the CRT kind of filter that we got going on right now. So far, all we can do is walk left and right. So I mean, I don't really know much about this game other than just like what the trailer has shown. Also, I was looking at a different like Metroidvania game, and it was in the recommended. So that's how I found it, pretty much. Just in time, Narita boy. The flag we programmed with the hero function gave us some wiggle room to assemble the switch and force your entry through segments of old code. This region is barely controlled by the hacker knots. You can travel through it with some confidence, but proceed with caution. Him and his hacker knots are tirelessly running through lines of code to try and find you. Pressing this button will open the door. Inside, waiting for you is a holographic module of Motherboard, protective mother of us and all the programs in the digital kingdom. This is like Digimon, right? 
I'm picking up Digimon. I'm getting a lot of Digimon vibes right now. You guys getting that? She's in the capital of the digital kingdom, sustaining the trichroma, overseeing code, closing breaches, and fixing bugs. That's a lot of work. Since the arrival of the stallions, the digital kingdom's code has been unstable. The trichroma beam. The trichroma beam, too. All right, I can open the door. I don't know what this dude is doing. He's plugging things in and pulling them out or something. Maybe he's trying to... He's trying to organize the wires so they don't get tangled. It's very important. Okay. Oh, hit up to enter. Can I jump? I can jump now. I can't attack. I believe it's because we've not yet received our our chosen weapon. So yeah, as far, oh, as, far as I know about this game, it's some sort of uh, action game. Is a side scroller. It's got that pixel art that you know that I love. I adore. Ha Hello. Oh, this is this is the crave of the cave of the trichroma. Okay. This is motherboard. This is a pre-recorded message for the true digital hero, Narita Boy. I am motherboard supervisor, program of the digital kingdom. I was designed line by line by the creator, and my source code emanates from the architectural core of the trichroma. I was one of the first sentient programs they awoke in the digital kingdom. If you're listening to this message, that means you've received your our call and decided to come to our aid. Welcome. What you see is the visual metaphor of the trichroma, the beam that emanates from its core and the three rays that rise up from our kingdom's source code. Each beam has a definite function and occupies a specific region of the kingdom. Each beam is a com computational entity that creates a system of programs around it. These systems are called Houses of the Trichroma, and there are three of them, just as there are three creator beams. The Yellow House Beam, a region of code that spans the desert simulation. The Blue House Beam, the regions of the eternal rains and blue simulation. And finally, the Red House Beam, the most powerful and disruptive house of all. The Red House Beam is the powerful equilibrium that supports the trichroma architecture. But him, the supervisor program that used to manage the data dump, lost his mind and betrayed us. He craved supremacy over the Red House. We defeated him and he was expelled from the Red Beam along with other programs known as Stallions. But they've returned, Narita boy, which is why we've called upon you. We need a hero who can wield the Techno Sword, the only blade forged with trichroma beams, able to destroy stallion code. You must go to the Techno Father's castle. There, there, the supervisor programs who forged the th Techno Sword. You must claim it from them and free us from the stallion menace. But that is not all we ask. Him has inflicted still more damage. Oh. Want me to fix that too? What's in it for me, though? You've uh, conveniently transported me from my cozy home to a land of danger and hell to fight for a people that I do not know, for a cause that I do not support, and you expect me to do it for free? Um, I do get a cool sword though, so that's, I mean, that's not, that's not too, oh, is that him? Is that what him looked like? I'm talking about him, the sorcerer. I'll, our, I'm talking about him, the sorcerer, our old supervisor brother from the House of the Red Beam. He's caused huge disruption. Motherboard will expa explain everything. You have a holographic console with a double ansible to contact her. Whenever you find a holographic console, you can communicate with Motherboard. What's more, the encryption is sufficiently complex to prevent him's hacker knots from being able to tap into your dialogue flow. Thanks, dude. That's cool. Oh, is that, is that it? Immense sorrow runs through my code, seeing how the first of the th creator's 13 memories has been destroyed. This demolished totem gives access to the creator's memories. The creator placed them in different parts of the kingdom to, as a security measure. If something were to happen to the creator, the digital hero would be able to immerse himself in his memories to reactivate the digital kingdom's passive memory and thus keep the source code updated. Now we need them because him has erased the creator's memory, the 13 that make up his meta-neuronal network. 
The creator can't remember. The creator has forgotten that he sustains this kingdom because he is forgetting. And because he is forgetting and the equilibrium in the trichroma threatens to fail, him and his stallions have once again invaded us. He has managed to erase his memories, oops. But remember, if the creator permanently forgets, the digital kingdom will be lost. Him will control the powerful red beam, subjugating us to his darkest desires. The trichroma will be destabilized and we'll all be under his rule. Even if you kill thousands of, sta thousands of stallion programs, remember that only the creator can totally eliminate the stallion code that is gradually appearing in thousands of lines of source code. You need to find the 12 remaining totems, piece together their code and journey within them. Only by unlocking them will you Will the creator retrieve his memory, so hurry! One last thing, son of the Trichroma. It is not possible to travel to the first memory through this broken totem, but you don't have to retrieve it. The twelve remaining memories are sufficient for the creator to remember. But you should know that there are five backup floppy disks in the digital kingdom. If you find them, you can rebuild this first totem. We will be eternally grateful if you manage to retrieve his first memory too. Thank you for that big knowledge dump. Still don't know what's in it for me, the creator in this world, kinda, I don't know. Is the creator the dude who made the game I was playing? Is like, if I don't get to do this, I can't finish Final Fantasy VI. I don't get to figure out what happens to... I forget all the names of the characters from Final Fantasy VI, dude. Okay, this is in Final Fantasy IV. I don't have to worry about what happens to Terra and Golbez and that one dude who becomes a, the light of night, l l night of lightness from the Dark Knight. You know, you know the one I'm talking about. I don't remember his name. Cecil? Cecil, I think it's Cecil. Narita boy, we haven't introduced ourselves. My brother programs and I are agents of the capital. Motherboard coded us to move through the digital kingdom investigating the mysteries of our kingdom's source code. We also help any program in the digital kingdom adjust to its code where necessary. I wanted to warn you about this simple but malicious stallion script that surges up from the ground. Jump and dodge it, but don't try to destroy it. We don't know why, but this code has infinite layers of complexity that renders it indestructible. Oh! Really? Oh, okay. Okay, I thought I thought I was gonna like have to start over from earlier. Okay, good to know. Oh, climbing. All right. You can let go with B. Finally, I wish there was a button that could allow me to do that. You know. Okay. So yeah, we've got so far. We've had a lot of preamble, lots of story, ambiance, themes. You know. But what I want is action. I want. I want some action. I want things to happen. I want to see bleeps and bloops and scoops and loops and other cool things that are shiny and colorful that make me go, ooh, video games. You know what I'm saying? Who are you? Are you a dog? Can I can I help you? Can I free you from your red 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 uh, affliction? What's this? Access to Baba's cave. Who are you? You Baba? Ah oh, yes, you'll need a techno key to go through this door. These monoliths are encrypted slots. Inside them are age-old program as ancient as motherboard. An old woman known as Baba, who, by the way, is very pleasant. All the programs of this region know her, and she'll safeguard anything that is entrusted to her. Help the techno fathers and the priests of the portal. Uh, can I visit her now? Can I go in? Access to Baba's cave. We can look at our uh, objectives. We gotta get hold of the techno sword. Got to find the creator's totems and we got to visit Baba. So, yeah, I mean, this as far as this is different from, you know, the roguelike roguelite, you know, flavor of things that I generally play on the channel. Now, we are now playing Cyber Shadow, which is perhaps a little bit closer to this in, in like a uh, scope and style, the Techno Father's Castle. But this is definitely more of a uh, story based, story focused. Oh, zombie. Uh. I got a zombie floppy disk. I imagine you don't want me to run into them, so I will attempt to not do so. Jump over that, because I mean that's just that's just what Ooh, is that it? Is that the sword? No. Okay, it wouldn't be that easy. Is that the sword? No. Uh just keep going. I'm a little hasty, a little impatient. Cause I want to get to the action, dude. You know, it's alright. Let's let's ease into it. Take in the atmosphere, huh? It is nice. I mean, this is like a, a game that's like, I think music is a big part of this game. So, you know, it's definitely like a kind of thing that you put some headphones on. You turn off all the lights and you just kind of 
just kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? All right. Narita Boy access to the underground garden is restricted. You'll find the access techno key in the higher levels of the castle. Um, okay. How do I, when do I get my sword? I want my sword. This is all really cool and like pretty. Oh wait, one second. Priest's portal, techno algorithm. Isn't this what I need? Whoa, you guys are doing some uh, some dark stuff in here, it looks like. This is my kind of party, though. Welcome to Rita Boy. The Techno Sword awaits you. We forged it the day the Stallions were expelled from the Digital Kingdom. We told ourselves that if they ever returned, we would need all the concentrated power of the Trichroma to stand up to them. And of course, a very special hero from beyond the Source Code to wield it. Don't flatter me. I sat and decided if I want to help you. At the end of the hall, take the other elevator that will lead you to the Techno Sword. All right. Got something to say to me, dude? No. All right. Techno sword, techno sword, techno sword. Let's go. Up, up, up. Whoa. Is that the creator? Hey, buddy. All right. Oh! Well, rest in power, everybody. I, I was uh, a little unaware that was going to happen. All right. There we go. We got it. That wasn't so bad. They're trying to stop us from getting the sword, but they can't. It can't stop the inevitable. I am inevitable. I am inevitable. Say it with me, everybody. I am inevitable. That, that, was, that became a kind of meme with my friends and I saying I am inevitable. You know, if you somehow don't know, that's a reference to uh, Thanos. Thanos. The, uh, the, mad, the mad titan from, you know, the titular or the very popular. Uh, the very popular Techno Sword! Now we're talking, dude. Yes, and he's getting down. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah, we go. Aw. There we go. But yeah, it's uh, Avengers, if you somehow don't know. Okay, we just uh, acquired all those abilities. Ooh, harmed. I've been harmed. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. All right. And you cut him up. Cut him up. I got an air attack, ho, ho, ho. Can I, can I hit him upwards and I go and I get him with like a nice, nice aerial barrage? Oh, home run. Hold and release. Home, oh. Hold and release. Home run. Home run. Does it matter how much you hold it? Like if you, if you like, okay. It seems to be the case. There, there's something about about holding that to get the, the full, the full brunt of the attack. Yes, we're not going back the way we came. Uh, I have a question. I was told there was only one hero, but I'm seeing a lot of people holding these techno swords, and I'm feeling a lot less special, but also like in a lot more danger. If if you know, it took this many to to, to get it right. Press once. Oh, press our right trigger once. Activate shotgun or hold it down for ultra beam. Each of these attacks need a number, different number of cartridges that will recharge over time. You can check out the power up menu. Okay, real quick. Power ups. Techno sword. Home run. Shotgun. Ultra beam. Okay, and then the other floppy disk was. Uh, I take it. Bam. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta wait for. I, I gotta do hyper beam. How long? Set a recharge over time, right? Oh, 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 okay. So the combat is like, you know, seems pretty, pretty straightforward. Not a lot of variety, but I mean, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the future holds. You know what I'm saying? I imagine you need three for a hyper beam. Hyper beam. Ooh, you put the sword inside yourself so that you can, you can channel, you can be the conduit that channels the power of the trichroma. You know what I'm saying? Do you? Because I hardly do, honestly. Interesting. I like how, oh, run, 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 run. Okay. I only needed to scratch my nose and then I, I couldn't. Bang. All right. Then you jump and you go, hup, hup. No, no. I'm trying to, there we go. I'm trying to get him with an aerial attack. Why? Because I mean, I don't know. Oh, I'm, I am glad that we move faster when we have this sword. More, a little bit more action, a little bit more platforming. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to climb the wall. I see. I see. Ooh, almost got me. What do you got to say to me? This Tori station 
uh, houses downloadable packages used to enhance qualities of the hero program upgrades. We'd love to hear it. You'll find them throughout your adventure. You'll need them to become to progress and become strong. Gimme, 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 gimme upgrade dodge. We needed that left bumper to dodge escape using the air to cover more distance. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I see. We need it for this. Huh. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. What is this? What is that? Clap? You got something to say to me, motherboard? Son of the Trichroma, you've reached the first totem. As you know, you must penetrate the creator's memories. Every time you release a memory, it will return to the creator. Mediate. Meditate in the midst of the code and connect to the creator's own Eric. Own one Eric, one, uh, okay, one Eric flow. When you connect, the totem will open and allow you to visit the Hall of Memories. Is this the place? I'm gonna uh, connect with this dude. When you when you mash, like how do you do it? Because I feel like when I mash, I get a little too. St did I did I did I fail? Oh, okay, I didn't fail. But yeah, I feel like when I mash, I get a little too stiff. You know, I have to like move my like right arm out and like and you vibrate it a lot that's how i mash normally not really using the the actual uh thumb muscles but like rather the forearm muscles but uh i mean there are there are various mash styles if you're if you're like me you played a lot of um okay only one is open that makes sense to me if you're like me you've played a lot of uh mario party you definitely got to figure out like a, a suitable mash method my own uh run and oh Yo, this sounds like, like Chrono Trigger overworld theme. Like, like, listen to it. Listen to it real quick. I'm telling you, dude, it's in there. I don't know if it's on purpose or it's just, you know, coincidental, but it's definitely in there. In any case, as I was saying about the, uh, well, real quick. My name is Lionel P Pearl Nakamura. What a name. That's a dope, dope, dope three. Dope combo. I was born in Narita, a city located in the prefecture of Chiba in Japan. They say that the summer I came into the world was a very hot one. And the sound of the cicada is particularly resonating, but I don't remember that. Yeah, that makes sense. Ba, 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 Da da da, ba 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 ba. I mean, it's literally only that one part, but it just reminds me of it. Okay, let leave me to my foolishness. Nor do I remember that my father was American, a guy Gokujin, guy Kokujin. Yep, Gaijin, Gaijin dad, Gaijin dad alert. It's the '80s, right? So I mean, that's probably a little bit. Might be a smidge more turbulent for him back then than it might be now. And that apparently, on that day, he was particularly troubled by his work. Uh, how troubled are we talking? Because, you know. But there is one thing I do remember. An intense light and a voice emanating from it. A gentle voice that sung me a lullaby. I remember my mother among patches of color. That's nice. A mosaic of shapes and toning sound from a faraway dimension. Mommy. I like that. Okay. Whoa, yo, this is surreal. All right. I'm going to cut down on the stupid quips and kind of let the game's, uh, you know, ambiance and heartfelt storytelling, you know, do more of the heavy lifting, eh? Although this is only a demo, so like... Son of the Trichroma, you've reached the first totem. As you know, you must penetrate the creator's memories. Every time you release a memory, it will return to the creator. Meditate in the midst of code and connect to the creator's own Eric flow. When you connect to the... Oh, yeah, I know that. Okay. Wait. Visit Baba. Find access... Find the access. Yes. Okay, I got to do both of those things. But, uh... What, was that? what I was going to say was... What was I going to say? <laughs> Whoa, a skull coat. Oh, wrong button. That's what I needed. Woo! There we go. Now we're now we got it. You lost a lot of HP taking that hit there. There we go. Woo! I can't tell if the music is like affected by our actions or if it's just like if it's just like happening, you know? 
Oh yeah, I forget I can I can do this too. Ho! Oh! I didn't really charge it up correctly, but that's fine. Oh! There you go. Ho! Oh! Right through the face, dude. Can I jump on that? Is there ground? No. I'm supposed to dash, of course. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. But yeah, I'm, I mean, in all honesty, like, I, I, this game is, like, I like it a lot. Like, I, so far, like, the, the art, the, the way that, the, like, the light kind of just, like, comes down, the, just the, the, the way that it's drawn, it's just very well, very, very, very well done. Y'all know that I love pixel, like, well done pixel art. It's just, like, mwah, mwah. There we go. I have to do the proper chef's kiss, eh? Here, brother, is the access to techno... Is here is This is the access techno key to our garden. Once the garden, contact the quantum medi meditator. He has a techno key that you'll need. Take the opportunity to meditate with him, transcending at his side and walking the paths of the trichrome in the light of his illumina luminous coat is one of the greatest experiences the digital kingdom has to offer. Ooh. If you're... If you're... If you, you know, if you have the predilection for it, I can imagine, you know... Taking one or two, you know, maybe like some CBD, something to calm the I'm dead, calm the nerves. Or, you know, if you are, I'm not, look, let me be the first to say, don't do drugs. But if you already do do drugs, if, if it's too late for me to say that, you know, this might be a good combo for you. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I'm not your boss or your dad or your mom. I am just me. Is there a map? How do I go down to the garden? I got the techno key. How do I go down to the garden? Can someone tell me? I hope I didn't like, you know, go the wrong way, I guess. Shoot, I'm dead. Ooh, I thought that was gonna get me. Got something to say to me? Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to know. Um, oh, I didn't need, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, can I walk on the other side of this? I should be able to, right? Yeah, I don't have to worry about those guys either. Okay. Real quick, I just want to make sure. I might be, I might be bugging out. Totem room. I entered the dude's head. Oh yeah, speaking of entering this dude's head, I'm just like a random kid in like a random corner of the world. Okay, that does take HP. So I'm actually like, I need to not do that as much as I've been doing it. But he gave me what I needed. Yeah, okay, we do have to go this way. Calculus three room. What is that on the top right? What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, we saw a lot of a lot of floppy disks to look at. Um, I don't know what it means. It means something. Download available. <laughs> that's that's what I when I see that. That's what I think. Now here's here's a take that you've heard before, and I'm gonna get back to what I was saying just just moments ago. But uh, but real quick, here's a take. I'm dead. Nice. Well, here's a take that you've certainly heard before. Uh. Think about, I mean, you know, you, you, if you want to feel old, I guess is the, is the, is the proper beginning to this take. Think about the fact that, you know, there are so many, so, so many living people now that the floppy disk to them is only like, a, is a pop culture icon. It's not a practical thing. It's a thing that's like just based completely in just like reference. You know what I'm saying? Like they see a pot, like a, a kid will see a, Okay, good. There's there's solid ground here. I was afraid. But yeah, a kid will see a floppy disk and they're going to be like, Oh, that's the save icon. Or, what's this? Well, this is where I got the sword, didn't it? Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Can I charge it? No. Ooh, All right. Can I look up? No, but you can do this. Dance a little bit. Jam with the boys. Okay, anyways. Yeah. For, for many bads, they're like bats, I get it. So you gotta get them with a with an air 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 attack. Ooh, don't run into them though. That's that's something that we learned. Hoo Nice. The music is also quite nice, ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Can I shoot in the oh I'm dead. Can I shoot in the air? Can I like pop? No, you can't. Okay. We got it was worth a shot. Alright, no. No. Woo! Cut this guy off of the edge. Yeah, you can move while attacking. That is that is uh that's how they probably how they expect you to do that. Oh, oh. 
Oh, oh, he still hurt me. Suck. All right. But uh, what I was going to say before I, you know, was, ta you know, talking about that whole floppy disks. Am I right, guys? Guys, remember when those were a thing? When you would have a floppy disk to actually, like, you know, hold files and stuff, you know, for actual storage. And they weren't just like a, an antiquated part of gaming history at this point or just pop culture. Like the old telephone. I remember reading that the article. I don't know how many people have also seen the article, but you know the article where they're like, where they're like, or no, I think it was like a TikTok thing, wasn't it? Some sort of social media thing, right? I don't know what the priest portal is, but that's probably not what I need to do. But uh, you know the whole like asking a kid like, do a do like a show. How do you hold a phone? Like if you were gonna use your hand to make a phone, how would you do it? And you know someone over the age of like you know twenty would be like. Here, I'm talking on the phone, but you know, someone under the age of 20 would be like, here, this is a phone, because, you know, we live in different times now. Access to the underground garden. Can I do it? I can. All right. Put that, pop that thing in there, dude. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it going. I think probably by the end of this, we will be done with this nice little look into this very pleasant game. Like, truly. Like, it's, I, it is, I have honestly understated how, how cool, how chill I'm just like, you know, this is like not, it's, it's different. You know, that's what's for many people, many people, not necessarily even me, but just, you know, people, you know, they're looking for a lot of that variety in their games. And, you know, I do like a lot of the same kind of game, but, you know, I like it to stay fresh. And this is definitely mad fresh. Three algorithmic altars must be activated. This triad, as powerful as the trichroma itself, will activate the transcriber of the symbols. This machine, created by the agents of the capital, allows you to transcend to other regions of the code using the power of the transcendent symbols. We call them jump patterns. Take a good look at the trichroma's fundamental symbols, the metaphoric expression of its beautiful code. There are always three. Remember, three, one for each beam. The transcriptor is switched off or out of range. What do we have to do? Activate the three algorithmic altars is that dude like counting electric sheep or some something is he sleeping what's this i can talk to 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 the lady oh no i can talk to this dude can i help you dude or can can you help me i guess okay i guess not it opened something i don't know how that would be the case but sure why not what happened if what would happen if i was to uh slice this man with my my techno sword. Nothing. Also, by the way, the uh, the animations are also pretty good. I mean, a game like this, game feel is like probably. No I mean, for me personally, game feel is like probably number one. Like graphics are maybe number two. It's a close one, <laughs> but game feel is usually like on the top of my list. And this game feels pretty good. The movement is a. Uh, it's a little floaty in the air. You know, you have a lot of air control. So with a lot of the some of the platforming, it might take some getting used to. So that you don't, you know, end up, uh, you don't end up essentially just like floating off of the edge and dying. Okay, so I thought maybe that would open this because it looked like it did. What's on the far right? Let's check it out. What does this do? Uh, banks of the Acromatopsia, Ac Acromatopia. Or something like that. I don't freaking know, dude. All these words, I get it. Chroma, colors, red, blue, green. They make the colors that you've seen. We know, we understand. Got something to say to me, dude? This garden is pure inspiration. Cycles of stress, fragments of anxiety. Are you writing unstable code? Then come down here and connect to the computer and flow. The best lines of code in all the digital kingdom have been written right here. I see. Nice workspace is what he's, he's, what he's saying to me. I get it. Uh, okay, I still don't. Oh, we can't enter this. We just weren't standing on the right pixel. All right. Hi, buddy. Uh, talk to someone. Am I activating these or something? Oh, I see. I was activating them, I think. Oh, yeah. I was. Yeah, you can climb those surfaces. Nice. This one's already been activated. I think that's the one I did first, or maybe not. I don't freaking know. But uh, we're not. We're, that isn't all we needed to do, is it? One to no no it would we would have gotten like some sort of fanfare nice shotgun i wonder how much range the shotgun blast actually has but yeah the thing that i was trying to bring up before is so i'm just a random kid right just a random kid some from some part of the world and i'm okay i swear i dashed i swear there we go 
but yeah uh, i'm just you know i don't know this man personally like the 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 creator isn't like a friend of mine he's like on another part of the planet like or something right oh that was the third one so i'm out here just like living this man's memories i've never met him before who knows if i ever will but i'm just like straight up living their memories that's like quite invasive i get it it's like for the greater good because I think his memories have been like erased by the program that he made or something. But like at the same time, if I was him and like I was like, okay, thanks so much for, uh, you know, giving my memories back and stuff. But uh, just, I guess, I, I don't know. Would you want to be friends with somebody? I guess that would be the ideal situation, right? You become friends with someone. So I did it, right? How do I use the receiver? Can I talk to you again? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a fool. I don't pay enough attention. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Got something to say to me? Anything else? No. Okay. Same thing you said before. Um, so we've definitely hit all three, right? One, two, three. I'm using my brain to think of the times that I remember doing so. There's this. This doesn't work, but I don't, I don't think it needs to. Hi, little bunny. I'm pretty sure we did it. Do I, can I climb up that? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Can I climb up this? Yes, I can. How do I get there? Ugh, there we go. That was what I was supposed to do. Can I... How do I... Oh, stand on top of it. <laughs> I've been having a lot of that problem today. Um, excuse me? Is this a puzzle? Uh-oh. Wait, no. B, change symbol. Okay. <laughs> Wait a second. It, they did say pay attention to the symbols, didn't they? It's square, three dots, square. Right? Square, three dots, square. Square, three dots, square. Hey, we did it, I think. Nice. Quantum ascension. Uh, all right. So that's an interesting way of teleporting around. I'm, I'm not averse to that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. How do we go up this way? I guess that's my mainest problem I've been having. It's just like, sometimes it's hard for me to tell. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell when I need to like, what is, what is interactable or like where I need to stand to be able to interact. The quantum meditator. I was told that this is a pretty cool experience that I got to do this before I leave Coachella. So like, I'm, I'm here. Nice to meet you, sir. I have a sword out. Oh, okay. Can you feel the trichroma in every pixel of your idols? Ooh, excuse me. Can you feel the trichroma in every pixel of your idol state? We are nothing more than lines of etheric code in non-space, non-time continuum. We are computation. Eternal inputs and outputs, a light that goes out, a flag that activates. Here, this is the techno key that will open the entrance to Baba's cave. She's also a great meditator, as patient as time itself. She always knew you would come and has lived thousands of iterations in deep meditation. Sometimes I feel her code flowing through circadian functions. Please give her my regards. Thanks, dude. But I was told that I should meditate with you, dude. Can we can we try it out? Let's let's give it a go. Come on. Let's feel, let's feel, let's feel it. All right, I'll see you later, dude. All right. So we got like a bit of a look, you know, not too much has happened. Not too much is new, but I hope this will just take me back. I don't have to remember any code. Good. But uh, this is probably going to be doing it for our look. I don't know what that top right freaking floppy disk is now. It's, it's now like yellow or something. I don't know what that means, but <clears throat> whatever the case may be, once we enter Baba's cabin, we'll, that'll do it for this whole thing. I mean, it's, I don't know what it's going to, what it entails or what's going to happen, but, uh, oh, 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 I'm dead. Yeah, no, we're just going to, oh, all the way here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to cut it off here. <laughs> If you did enjoy the episode, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more episodes like this one, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are curious about this game, you want to see more about it, you want to, you know, add it to your wish list, you want to check out the demo for yourself, see what stuff I missed and what stuff I didn't actually, you know, get to experience, uh, you can go ahead and check it out on Steam. This was Narita Boy.
I hope you're all doing very wonderfully today. And I hope this might have done something to make your day a tiny bit better. Stay safe out there. And as always, have a good one. Peace out.